Uh, hello, our project, Cliff, Rocks and Forests, is all about preserving the existing nature in synergy with building mineral-like structure, mixing humans and biodiversity. This project includes itself in the ongoing expansion of the city of Brest. From the historical center to the current construction, the city has always respected the generous forest surrounding the Mukavet River. The, uh, the overall size of the prescribed development is large. However, we intend to preserve as much as we can the current, the current growing primal forests, leaving some parts of the master plan purposely unconstructed. Both plots present a generous untouched forest at their center, with diagonal paths crossing through the natural forest for pedestrians and cyclists. This encourages eco-friendly transport and limits car circulation. As we mentioned before, this program is not about completely clearing respond as best as possible to the diversity of family needs. We decided to use imbricated houses to, to have different typologies. In order to have less impact on the site, we chose to build on the limit of the plots, which allowed us to preserve a large green central space space while maintaining a high density. The imbrication system permits various arrangements using the same housing units. Here, we can see the almost overwhelming presence of the forest, and the pedestrian walk through this forest on small pathways between trees and existing wildlife. And the houses emerge from the ground as unburied rocks. Zooming in a module of five houses imbricated together, each living room is provided with an expansive view to the forest. And the sections allow to see the quality of inner space. Most of the houses have double-oriented uh, living rooms or double heights. To reach the goal of passive house, we use different strategies. Shutters and va natural ventilation uh, will prevent overheating during the summer. And then during the winter, um, the warmth is conserved thanks to another insulated exterior facades and underfloor heating. To limit water consumption, we implanted a rainwater collecting system, and to prevent temperature uh, depredation, we focus on wall and terrace depredation that you can see here. And using all these strategies, uh, we reached the specificated demand uh, of the competition. The artificial topography used to hide the parking lots become during the winter a playful space for families to enjoy. On the south side of the main road is the collective housing plot. It's organized in a crown system surrounding the in inner existing forest. Distorting a simple five meter structural grid, we implanted a plug-in system between the bearing walls. Mixing housing with offices and activities creates a lively space all day long. This view from the west building highlights the close proximity to the forest, whereas the opposite building seems to emerge as a mineral cliff from the horizon of the forest. Zooming in on the north and east building, we understand how the bridge between the two is not only a shared space for inhabitants of both buildings, but it also creates an arch below and an access to the nearby rooftop. It connects spaces and humans alike. The east building shows the generous private terraces and the possibility of exploiting rooftop as a space for gardening. It animates outdoor space. The north building connects on the ground floor the inner yard with the outer streets by a transparent crossing space with variety of animities and functions. The upper level unrolls themselves like a fan for even more south-oriented terraces. Far from an hermetically closed courtyard, the ground floor reveals the hierarchy of the openings, allowing the nature to expand itself even further from the limits of the plot. Um, the larger bridge offers a gym with a panoramic view that can easily be changed since the function is free of constraints. We mix various programs within the same floor, offices, housing, and community spaces for better interaction. For the inside, we chose a combination of white natural brick as a reminder of the stone and the wood to connect with the surrounding forest. To conclude our project, it minds about the qualities of the area embodied by the forest while creating a mineral protective topography. France, second prize winner.